now our Cheers Week continues with a couple who made the show a hit. When Ted Danson and Shelley Long joined me for this special 30-year reunion, the memories and the secrets started flowing. We have saved some of their best moments together to share with you tonight. And everyone knows that hate is not the opposite of love. Indifference is. Well, whatever you say, I really don't care. Well, Ted, we care. We've been watching Sam and Diane for 30 years. Turns out you've been watching, too. Do you watch episodes? I do. Every, well, I mean, I not do. not much. I do. It makes me laugh so hard. Maybe you want to step in here for a minute. Let me show you something I've triumphed over. Don't tell me you finally mastered the stapler. <laughs> Both of them also follow one of their colleagues from the bar. I watch Frasier. I watch Frasier. I think, you know, I, I don't watch us shows. much. I, because, well, come. Because I know there's, like, there's one episode where I did something really stupid. And it, you know, there it is on film, and I wish it weren't there. But nobody else probably oh, see, sees I've, it. I've, You're probably I've the only one. Yeah. It's gone. So I'm watching, going, who is that guy? He's so tall <laughs> and limber. One of the scenes, I don't remember much about the episode, but one of the greatest scenes, and he'd never believe that I would say this about him, is Kelsey with the bag, and he's going snipe on it. Oh my God, that was fun. That made me laugh so hard, I, yeah. I was really worried. Thanks to reruns and DVDs, Sam and Diane will never be forgotten. How much were you guys like your characters? Anything like them? See, this Anything guy like Sam This guy is more Cary Grant. He is not Sam. Mm -hmm. In fact, he was getting white hair, and I said, Ted, do you have white hair? And he said, yes. yes. I, I was dyeing my hair from the first year, sitting with the ladies with tinfoil in my hair. <laughs> were you really? Oh, yeah. No, it was, I'm so glad to be white now. I was accused of being dye and changers, and... I stopped arguing. It was like I couldn't win that argument. But yes, there are similarities. There are things that are actually the same, even. I wanted right. to stay closer to who I am, but I'm not dying. No, you're not. <laughs> no. Never have been. Every time I'm in a taxi, I can't help but hum Dove Sono from Le Nazi de Figaro, simply because once a rather zoptic Parisian cabbie sang the entire aria on a trip through Montparnasse to La Coupole. Anyway. I mean, she is based on two real women that I went to high school. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mean, what I mean is... Do they know that? Do they know that? One of them does. I don't think the other one does. Shelley left the character behind in 1987, but at this reunion, Ted told her that there might be nothing to celebrate if not for her. We hadn't seen a character like Diane Shears. You really put Shears in the map with your astounding performance. Aww. Truly did. Thank you, honey. How yep. sweet is that? And one final question, because I know that we got to go here, but what... What do you think made it so special? Was it the chemistry? Because you guys got just from seeing you reunite writing, like writing, this. Writing, 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 writing. writing, writing, writing. writing. It was yeah, but sometimes a group of No, it was cast. I mean, the whole brilliant. cast was astounding. Yeah. But the writing, the writing was so good you could lose, you could lose Nick Colasanto and bring in Woody and it still got even better. You could lose Shelley and bring in Kirsty and it kept going. I mean, it's it was that kind of great, great movie. Yeah. yeah, that's very true. Well, you guys were fantastic. I rehearsed that part. No, that was good. <laughs>